What's up guys, before I get into today's video, I would really appreciate it if you guys could give me a like, and if you haven't done so already, please go down there and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Like bringing content to you guys. Really enjoy my content. Please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. Alright guys, back with you for another one, finally. And this is what I've been waiting for, the big one. We've got, that's right guys, 2016, well this is a 2016 WRX, but I've got the closed deck IAG stage 3 block, uh, fully forged, has the IAG pistons and the manly I-beam rods, and I just received it from the courier, so I'm going to do a little unboxing for you guys. Uh, it had some packing on the top, I just sort of pulled that off, but pulled the box apart a little bit too. So you can see kind of how it was packed. Um, I was able to lift this myself. And pop it open. So now I'm going to probably cut it down the side here. This is like the dullest exacto ever. Packing. It is like shrink wrapped in. This is bloody impossible to do in one hand. Here's the bottom, obviously. I don't see any damage in the corners. On the edges, look fine. Piston area. Fine there. Dang, pistons look smaller than what I thought in real life. <laughs> oh man, so excited for this. Outstanding. All the surface looks very nice. Crank looks good from what I could tell. 
and the other side here. Very nice. Okay, so this would be the passenger side because this is flipped upside down. Oil pan and sump and pump area. And you could see the nice connecting rods there. And the driver's side. So this is the front where the oil galley would go. This is looking hot. And then the rear, and it looks like there's some packaging enclosed and some instructions. So. So the top side, now this is looking at it as if it was in the car. So we have the driver's side, passenger side, front crank here. This is obviously right side up. F820 embossed in the case. My serial numbers and my engine number. Nice staple there. Oh, this is where the Instructions here. Let's see. Some stickers and install tag. That's always nice. And the notice. So blueprint copies so I will go and email to them and get my copy of my blueprint for my engine but it has everything here break in priming for startup procedure uh, it has EJ and FA so FA Run any conventional with a filter, any 530 for 50 miles. Uh, change oil to break in at 50 miles. Replace oil filter crush washer. So much to what everyone was saying, they actually want you to run 530, 810, Motil X Clean EFE after the 3000 mile range. Other than that, it's breaking oil, breaking oil, breaking oil. Yeah. So, breaking oil is what I have. I have the Moto breaking oil. And then, obviously, it's not a BSZ, so 020 Eco Light. For all you EJ guys, 1040. Uh, yeah. 540 actually sorry uh, so 
Yes, we stick to 530. X clean. And I heard that this has something to do with blow by, but that was one of the big things. Standard warranty on the block. Yeah. So. So no uh, rear main seal in there yet, and I did order it with a rear main seal, so I'll have to figure out where that is. Um, but this is kind of high end and plugs, so I hope I don't have to wait for those to come. They should be just in, but that's looking good. Awesome, no damage, everything looks great. Yeah, you're getting it, boy. Woo! I can't wait. So this is my 2016 WRX. Uh, I have lots and lots of bolt-ons on this and just looking for that extra push to hit, go over the 400, 500 wheel horsepower mark. Here's my loot of parts, which I'll go through engine stand, engine crane. So I have the clutch of choice is the stage two competition clutch, which I'll be going through. Uh, and it's a twin, twin disc, full face. Uh, obviously I'm daily driving too, so I was told not to use a six puck. Uh, if I move on, I have gone to Subaru and picked up all of the seals that I'll need including uh, the spark plugs and a throw out bearing and that's the new updated throw out bearing in there. Head gaskets. So I'm going grim speed head gasket and I got Two different sizes because I've yet to pull the heads out of my car, but when I do, I will know. So this is the 0.78 millimeter head gaskets, and that is factory. So if my heads don't need to be decked, these will work perfectly. If they do need to be decked, I got the 105 millimeter head gaskets as well, just in case. Um, in here, we have my new turbo, which I went with the SoCal V3. Upgraded turbo, um, and it has the internal wastegate actuator with the 12 PSI spring. And that's ceramic coated on the uh, turbine side. Compressor side is not. But that's how she looks for now. That's how the turbine looks. Or I say I should say the compressor blade. Okay, on top of that all, I have the Killer Bee oil pickup for the FA, obviously, and then I have turbo studs, just in case, and Cobb, one of these is the oil pressure sensor. Or sorry, this is the flex fuel kit. 
flex fuel kit and this should be the not oil pressure but fuel pressure yep which it is Can cob and then on top of that I've got yes I've got the AM V3 uh, methanol injection kit which is actually that box just below here um, it's actually a V2 kit and then I bought the V3 nozzle separately um, and then fueling so I have the Nostrum high pressure fuel pump and what I did was get the AM 340 fuel pump. Sorry, those are my half inch head studs. Uh, there it is. AM high flow in tank fuel pump. There and in order to run this, you need the Deechworks install kit. So that'll work on our WRXs with that fuel pump. I've got Grim Speed coolant hoses. I've got lots of fuel filters. The red, of course. I've got parent engine mounts. And these aren't the solid ones, these are definitely the 90 durometer. Uh, in here I got more fuel filters because you need to do tons of fuel filter changes. And this is the solenoid kit for the uh, methanol injection. So Lots of stuff I've been storing up for a long, long time. And now it's all coming to fruition. Head studs, half inch, V3 nozzle kit, all of my cob. Goodness, I am pumped. Okay, B. I already have the Killer B non EWG headers on. Nostrum fuel pump is here. So I'm pumped. Can't wait to get that on. So guys, uh, this was a unboxing of pretty much everything that I've been storing up for this entire time. I am so ready for this. I have all the tools I need stacked up here, scotch brights, some suspension mods as well coming. And I have all of my... Hey,